Hey, we're going to get all piney on this uh, Beer Guys TV brewcast with some obtuse spruce. What do you think? Uh, yeah. Sounds piney. Okay. Nice pitch. Pine. <laughs> If you're looking for serious, in-depth beer information, well, you're listening to the wrong show. But if you want fun and entertaining beer information, you've come to the right place. It's another Beer Guys TV podcast. Hey, welcome to this Beer Guys TV broadcast from our studio in Glencoe, Minnesota. Greg Johnson along with Jerry W. Cook running the controls. Yep. How about that? Yep. We got Chad something Zeppelin. I miss my brother. <laughs> <laughs> and Brenton L. Anderson. Yes, sir. Howdy. Welcome back. Thank you. Hey, well, nice, nice of you to walk down and join us. Yeah. While the rest of us all drove from long ways, you just kind of wandered. You could somersault down here probably. Kind of shuffled on down. <laughs> shuffling. You're doing some ambled. shuffling. You ambled. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you ambled well. Glad to have you. Got that beard to keep you warm. Yes. You know, you know the season. Some kind of a weird sailor hat. No, it's a dock worker's hat. Dock worker's hat. See, I don't know my nautical stuff very well. Sure. Like All you've right. never been down by the dock. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what that means. But. All right. Ha, 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 ha. Sure, okay. Sure, yes. uh, Zeppelin, you out there somewhere? Well, we want you back. Uh, I got Shane. Hey, Carol's out there. Hey, Carol. Hey. All right. Well, on this brewcast, we're going to be talking about obtuse spruce. It's, 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 a, it's an American pale ale brewed with spruce tips that are locally grown and sourced out of, out of um, Michigan. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Michigan tips. Yeah, yeah. Mich <laughs> Michigan spruce tips. Uh, yeah. Zuki tips are they, or? are they different than Minnesota? Well, I don't know. They got different pines out there. What does it say anything special beyond that? Probably not. Uh, it's out of Marshall, Michigan. I can tell you that much. Uh, mm. Dark Horse. They make, they make a lot of beers. They make some really interesting beers. I've not uh, tried this one, but uh, we're gonna see. Just how, we've had some other uh, beers with uh, spruce tips. Uh, Alaskan makes one mm -hmm. with spruce tips. We try to look kind of like that. And uh, have you tried that one? I've had that one. Yeah. And uh, but anyway, we're about to check this one out. I'm going to crack her open if that's okay with you, Jerry. That's fine with I you. know you're busy changing cameras and all that. Don't let me stop you. Yeah. I, like, <laughs> I like the wrench that you use. Yeah, you like that. I got that from Rock Yard Brewing out of uh, Castle Rock, Colorado. Here, take oh, this nice. with you. Yeah. Thanks. Clunk. <laughs> hey, look at it. Okay. Make it more, more. Drink. Timber. <laughs> Timber. See, it was a, that was a yeah. tree thing. So okay. do they use the short needle spruce tips hey, or the know, long I, needle? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're different tastes, aren't they? No. <laughs> what are you doing there? Settle to the bottom. Oh, right. okay. Get the, there's, a, there's a little spruce on the bottom. A little spruce. There you go. I may have to. Oh, there you go. Okay, I'm kind of making a mess over yonder, but hey. I'm next, I'm next. Is there any left? Nope. Ha, ha. You're just going to have to watch. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Sweet. Get that wrench out. <laughs> yeah. uh, break out the wrench. Uh, that's good. For a two that's spruce. Good. You want a little more in there? Yes, I do. Okay, then. <laughs> I'll say something for our studio audience, too. Right. So yeah, There sure. we go. We'll, uh, we'll double up up here. How about that? All right, so what we'll do is uh, whew, we'll check that out. We'll come back. Uh, we'll take a break, huh? We'll take back, and we can take a little sip during the break time and tell you what we think of obtuse spruce from Dark Horse Brewing out of Marshall, Michigan. We'll do it right after this on the Beer Guys TV Brewcast. We know that one serving just isn't enough, so there's more Beer Guys TV on tap and coming up. Beer Guys TV brings you beer reviews and beer-related information in a fun and clean, entertaining way. Our website is a combination of beer articles, reviews, products, videos, and now podcasts, too. And you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Check those out. Please take a moment to visit our sponsors as well and tell them that you heard about them or saw them right here on Beer Guys TV. That will allow us to continue to bring you entertaining beer reviews and other fun stuff your way. And remember to enjoy your beer in moderation, never drink and drive, and always use a designated driver. That way you'll be around to enjoy more beer tomorrow. Hey, thanks for listening. And now, back to the show. And we're back on the Beer Guys TV Brewcast. Again, we're talking from Dark Horse Brewing out of Marshall, Michigan. We're talking about obtuse spruce. 
It's an American pale ale brewed with locally sourced uh, pie, uh, spruce tips. And uh, th this beer comes in at 6% on the ABV and 38 IBUs. So there you go. That's uh, what it's all about. Now, during the break, we got a chance to sip this a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's uh, interesting. It's yeah. very different. Ooh. What, yes. are you, what are you thinking there, Jer? I'm uh, concurring. It's very different. Yeah, yeah. I'm, it's, not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna show my hand yet. Mm. Um, I'll, who wants to go first? Anybody? You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, okay then, I'll go ahead and go first. Um, wow, it's uh, it's heavy on the spruce tips. I mean, it's kind of earthy. Um, you definitely get lots of pine, and as a, afterwards, it leaves a kind of a well, again that, that earthy kind of a aftertaste to it. I, I it's 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 different. I don't. It's a hard one to describe. There's a tick of sweetness when like like you noticed on on, on the uh, on the nose there, and uh, but it smells different than it tastes. I think. Um, uh, for me, um, you, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. You ready? I, I'm, I'm going to go with a skip it. Ooh, uh, skip this, 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 this is just a little too weird for me. I don't mind a little sip of it, but I wouldn't, I, I probably wouldn't, maybe on tap it's better, but for me, yeah, I've had a lot of other dark horse beers. They got some really good beers. This one just for me isn't probably one of them. So i skip it for yours truly. So with that. Brent? I'll go. Okay, Brent is up next. He's warming it up. Do that or he's making his hands cold. <laughs> I find this very interesting in a good way. Uh huh. Um, what's interesting is they, you, they they're, those spruce tips that they added, that's the hop addition. Yeah. Probably, uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, when I actually inhale the aroma from the glass. I was getting the spruce tips, but I was also getting, um, almost made me think of honey. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's because of the malts that they use co coinciding with that sprucey aroma, but that was interesting. It's kind of a hazy beer too. Yeah, yeah, that um, is, yep, very much so. But that being said, it is sort of crisp in its own way. It's different that Everything way. Everything is crisp. Yeah. So, a um, little bit of sweetness, <laughs> but you do get that, that spruce finish. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say, you know, you don't get to try something that's usually unique. Yeah, that's true. And, it doesn't fit and in the but standard. Right, and this isn't one that I would say is you, so unique you're going to just be completely, oh, this is just, you know, terrible. Uh, for me, I'd say try it. Try it. Oh, so it's a it's a try it for the old uh, Brenter. Yeah. yeah. So okay. I and, and you know from that angle I can I, I get that because it, it is something different. So hey, try it. You, you either like it or you don't. Right. Move on. So all right. With that, uh, Jer. I'll go next. All right. Uh, well, the first thing that uh, that I noticed that before even tasting it, I really wasn't catching much of an aroma. A very subtle one, more of like a a flower flower mm. polleny. Sure. type of aroma. Uh, the uh, the first thing that uh, that I noticed when I actually tried the beer was like uh, Brent said a real crisp sensation to it. Very crisp. I mean you get that really crisp mouth feel to it. Um, I did pick up the pine. Um, so it uh, doesn't have really much of an aftertaste to it. Hmm. It's sort of like there and then it's gone. It doesn't kind of linger. See, I, I liked. It does for me, but that's, yeah. that's just me. Um, it does sort of have a like a sweet because of the sort of flowery. It does have that honey polleny kind of taste to it. Um, I really really like this, mm. and for somebody who's uh, uh, maybe experimenting with craft beers, this probably isn't the one for you because it's going to be so different than sure. anything, and you might judge all craft beers by this. But with somebody who is sort of into the craft beer, this is definitely a very different beer. So I'm going to say buy it. Wow. wow. A buy it for Jer. How about that action? He steps in for Shane. He's right into the buy it category. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Good job. Well, all right. Well, well, well. <laughs> well over to the other Zeppelin, Chad. Uh, tell us what your thoughts of this beer from Dark Horse. Well, I think I'm going to kind of concur with both Brenton and and Jerry because um, I didn't pick up that piney aroma either. And when I first tasted it, uh, I definitely picked up the pine, but it went away uh, mm. very quickly as far as my palates go. And so I, I thought it was crisp, uh, kind of a clean pine taste. <clears throat> it's not one for me, uh, being more of a, I'm kind of getting into the stouts yeah. as well. You know, uh, hope for you yet. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, you know, I'm an IPA guy. Yep. Um, and I like my lighter, crispier beers too. So I actually like it as well. Um, I was pleasantly surprised uh, that it wasn't too, it, it, it's very piney. So, you know, like Jerry said, if you're going to go and try the whole craft beer scene, don't start with this one. But if you're used to it and you like to enjoy different ones, it's definitely something so different but yet uh, pleasurable, I think. So you're... I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a strong try it on okay. this one. All right, uh, fair enough, yeah. nothing wrong with that. So we got a, uh, a strong try it, we gotta buy it, we gotta skip it, I'm the bad guy, and, uh, and a try it from Brent as well. So yeah. kind of all over the place, hey, only you will know if you try it. So check it out, it's called Obtuse Spruce, and I'm not sure the availability on this beer, and uh, um, uh, Maybe if you know it's not maybe not a seasonal. Uh, hey, just quick from the studio, any co comments, Carol? You got a, a, a chance to sip it during the break. What did you think? I was okay with it. I I tried it. I tried it from you, Shane. You're back there. What's up, buddy? Hey, Shane. Hey, <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, brotherly love. Try it. Okay. All right. So. Thanks. And that's what it comes down to. It, it's all subje subjective, so check it out. Let us know what you think. You can always email us at beerguystv at gmail.com or check us out on Facebook and uh, tell us what you think. Of. Yeah, like it says back yonder, you can add a, add a TV to that. It'll help you find us too. So, Anyway, that's going to do it for this Beer Guys TV brewcast for Chad, Jerry, Brent, Shane, Carol, Bob, Lillian, and Fritz. I'm Greg, and until next time, beers to ya! Beer Guys TV <laughs> reminds you to drink there. responsibly. Never drink and drive and always use a DD. Be sure to expand your beer list by trying something different. Remember to check out BeerGuysTV.com and find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks for listening to this Beer Guys TV podcast. Sponsor messages you hear on our podcast are paid endorsements unless otherwise stated. These messages help us bring Beer Guys TV to you. We encourage you to support our sponsors so that we may continue to provide quality entertainment and information. Our reviews are honest opinions. Your opinion and taste may vary. We encourage you to try beers and products for yourself and form your own opinions. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what beer you like and send us your suggestions for us to review. You can contact us at beerguystv at gmail.com.